Make sure there's rum in the rum. Hey, don't you think you had about one too many? No, I don't think. So this is cute. Well, you can't judge a whole island by this cafe. Beautiful cute. Well, they have their dumps in New York, too. Yeah, well, it's no good for me. Well, I like Cuba. I was born here. Yeah, well, here's to Cuba. Well, you can have it. All right, Joe, relax. Come on, both of you. then, my angel? Didn't I? Your liquor must have done it before me. And what did you say was your name? Hildita. Hildita? Hmm. I hope you are more to the liking of my customers than your partner here. And you are planning to go to New York? Yes, we hope to. My advice to you is to stay here. It is much easier to starve when you are warm. He was not very friendly. And Maria, they certainly didn't seem crazy about your song. Why should they? Since when was a man interested in a boy? You'll be just what they want. Say, it's getting late. We better get going. I'm not going back. Come on, Rocky. We're shoving off in the morning. I said I'm not going. Jumping ship's a serious offense, fella. You'll do time. Yeah, well, they have to catch me first. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in introducing to you, at great expense, that sensational, that famous Brazilian dancer, Hilida.
was there. Don't cry, Dita. Oh, it was terrible. I know. I saw it from the wind. I do not blame you for crying. You were pretty sad. I'm sorry we cannot use you here. That wasn't a very long engagement, was it? What does he know? Perhaps we should go back to Brazil and raise a family. We're going to New York as we planned. Maybe we're not as good as we think we are. We're not so bad that I'm ready to raise a bunch of little Brazilians right now, either. I've been to New York before. We'll be great. Gracias. <laughs> Heavens, Maria, what will we do now? Don't worry. Yes, you know, I made yes, you know, I Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, hello. Well, I couldn't help overhearing it. Yes, you could have if you hadn't been following us. But, Marie, this is the boy that tried to help us. Yes, helped get us fired. Oh, I'm sorry about that, really, and... Okay, good night, Sailor. Oh, look, I feel terrible about what happened inside, and... And? Well, let's all go out and get a bite to eat. Boy, she's a tough nut to crack. I don't understand. She's a hard egg. Oh, look, Sailor. No, you listen to me. That guy inside's no friend of mine. Why, we were just shipmates. Why, we sailed from New York together. And this is not a pickup either. A what? <laughs> Whatever you call it in Brazil. Well, I came out here because, well, because I wanted to help you. Don't bother. Hey, what's eating her? Please, Maria. Hey, I, I used to be a hooker myself. A hooker? Yeah, that's slang for... Fred Astaire. I didn't say Fred Astaire, just a hooker. Well, I know what kind of dancing they like in Cuba. Well, I'm half Cuban myself. Oh. Well, now, Maria, please. Yes? Well, uh, well, they like tarumba. Oh, the samba's a very beautiful dance, but they like tarumba. We're extremely grateful for this shattering bit of information. Listen. Listen, I was thinking... Okay, so they like the rumba. Yes. Now, if you could just incorporate some of the steps of Cuba into your routine... Yes. Well, if you have a minute... Have we got a choice? My dear, monuments are constantly in need of repair. 
Who was that? I don't know. Maybe we should play the monument. Oh, sweetheart, you were great. You think so, really? I do. Thank you. Boy, you play a sweet guitar. Thank you. How does it look? Solid. Solid? That means swell. From now on, I think I'll wear a hibiscus for luck. You know, senor, I don't even know your name. Oh, oh, Joe Moore. How do you do, senor Moore? Just Joe. Senor Joe. Just, just plain Joe. Joe. How do you do? Joe? Yes. Why did you give up dancing? Probably his stomach. Yes, it got hungry. You have what we call in Brazil, very happy feet. Well, they weren't looking at mine. Joe, did you ever have a partner? No. Maybe what you needed was a partner. Maybe. What do you say, Joe? I couldn't. My shift sails in the morning. Well, you could take a later one, couldn't you? Why? Oh, I... I have a feeling we'd be, as you say in America, solid. I'll live. And you keep this. For luck. Chilly. Let's go home. All right, Maria. I'll cut some more off. Maria, please put another ruffle on. Take another ruffle off. But, Joe. More. I feel naked. Oh, you're overdressed. Show plenty of legs. Don't be so stingy. What does that look like up to here? Rodriguez says the skirt cuts higher. Up it goes. Just because Rodriguez says. Look, if you don't want to play the Tropic of Banya. Okay. We know you landed the job for us. But, Joe, I feel naked. Here, put these on. And now about you. What do you want me to do? Strip the varnish from my guitar? Nay. Why do you always make her angry? For well, me? Well, what is she so peeved about? She's still working too, isn't she? And why does she always resent the fact that I'm here? Well, let's forget about her. Hey, honey. I got you a little something for this room. Remember the night at the monument you gave me those uh, bills to keep for luck? Uh-huh. Well, how do you like them? Our first salary. <laughs> oh, Joe. You're crazy. Sure. Well, now where are we place them? Let's see. Aha! Maria and money. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing she'd rather be next to. Someday, Joe, maybe we'll frame bigger bills. Oh, honey, the big ones we spend. Joe, when we saw Rodriguez yesterday, you told him your name was Thomas. At the monument, you told me it was Moore. It is Moore, honey. Oh, I just chose Thomas as a stage name. Well, what's the matter with Moore? Nothing, honey. It's just that, well, a lot of people change their names when they go on the stage. Joe, you're not in some trouble. You didn't change your name because... Of course not, honey. Of course not. Would you worry if I was? Well, I do. Dita. Yes? Maybe we will frame bigger bills. Is that what you wanted to say, Joe? Not exactly. What? Well, we've come a long ways in three days, Dita. Yes, Joe. Quite a ways. Yes. <laughs> Quite a long ways. An extremely long way. Dita, do you believe in love at first sight? Well, I'm not sure, Joe. Oh, I'm not exactly either, but... Well, I took a second look, and... And then I took a third, and... And... Well, I've been looking for the last three days, dear, and... And all I hear is bells. Hello? 
Rodriguez? It's a Tropic Cabana. Hello? What? Rehearsal? But why? Exactly as you ordered, senor. I'm starved. Yes, dear. Are you bored, Jose? I find you exhilarating. And now, senoras y senores, Hildita Ferral and Joe Thomas. I didn't notice. Have you thought on occasion of doing it? Yes, my dear, I have. Is it that tiresome? Of late, my dear, it is. Well, I think that's my cue, isn't it? I hope you'll all forgive me. I've suddenly developed a terrible headache. Oh, what a pity. Sorry, good night.
Alberto, I, I want you to take this to Miss Aldita. Si, senor. Thank you. I don't think we ought to go. You don't think we ought to go. Well, isn't that nice? Valdez is only the owner of the Tropicabana. Or didn't you hear the waiter say as much? Yes, I heard him, but I... Lord knows how much else he owns in town. And yet, you think you ought to go with Joe. I sort of promised him we'd have supper. A two-bit hoofah. That has nothing to do with it. A couple of hamburgers and some flop joint and a cup of sour coffee. And you'd trade that for Valdez and the chance of a lifetime. But, Maria... Valdez can set us up so well in Cuba, we'll just sail into New York. I know. You can always have hamburgers. Are you so crazy about hamburgers? It's not that. Go with Joe tomorrow. The hamburgers will still be there. There's always hamburgers. There's the chauffeur now. You. Well, I think so. And look what I got. What is it? Why, it's just a two-week contract, that's all. How wonderful. I walked right up to Rodriguez and, and I... And probably licked his hand. Why don't you go varnish your guitar? Maybe I got a little advance, too. And tonight we celebrate. He's got his whitening, senorita. Thank you. Come on, Hildita. Joe, could we have supper tomorrow night instead? Tomorrow? Well, it's important for all. Come on, Yolita. What's important? Well, I'll explain later, Joe. Please don't be Cinco centavos. So that's the latest, hmm? There's no one here, senora, half as beautiful as you. Mm-hmm. I hear she dances. She has a beautiful sense of rhythm. All that and rhythm, too? Excuse me, senora. Having fun? When I'm in the water. It's totally warm up here. Too much sun? No, too many eyes. Well, we can manage that. You won't mind one pair, will you? I generally take them along. Well, I think I can handle one pair. Certainly when they surround me. And uh, how do you feel about arms? I think I can handle them, too. <laughs> Well, is this better? Yes, I think so. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's very beautiful. In this new setting, it's even more lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, don't throw it away, please. Perhaps I'm superstitious, but I wore it for luck that first time at the monument. And it has brought it to me. Well, perhaps this will bring you more. I'm afraid I'm not very much of a gambler. I am. That wasn't fair, Senor Valdez. Why, you were looking. How about dinner tonight? I'll pick you up at six. Wait a moment. Okay, chum. We're even. 
Hey, and watch yourself crossing the street. Well, thank you for everything. It's been a lovely evening, Senor Valdez. Jose. Jose. Do you like Ayala? I'll pick you up tomorrow. Well, I... Well, thank you again. Jose. Uh, Jose. Why, Joe. What'd you expect, Valdez, again? That's not fair. Are you being fair, you and Cuba's gift to women? Valdez is business. Yeah. I'd like to get in that business myself. Well, now, you know as well as I that I'm only going with him because it's, it's good business. Does he? I don't wish to discuss it. Well, I do. Business is nine to five, and after that, well, it's got another name. Like what? You know what. And I don't want you any part of it. And you think I am? What do you think? Well, thank you for your opinion. likes to dance, don't you? More than anything in the world. I have a little hobby, too. You can guess what it is. Place the bet for you. I couldn't, but I... I just placed another one. Oh, but really, I, I simply couldn't. Good evening, Valdez. Wonderful game, isn't it? Wonderful. The going is so fast. Not bad. Fast as can be expected. Well, that makes it three nights in a row. Oh, stop mumbling. Who's mumbling? I don't care if she never shows up. Yeah, like you don't care if you lose the right eye. Well, after this week, I'm through. You deserve to get your face flat. Your mouth is open. Yeah, and it was moving. Well, right on time again. Please, Joe, not now. Hello, Theus. Hello, what is it? The same as usual? Not today, thank you. I'm just here looking for somebody. Oh? Uh -huh. Maybe you know him. A boy named Joe Moore. No, people come and people go. I never ask their names. What did he do? Jumped ship. Oh, the fool. He was last seen here a few days ago. Well, they're in and out all the time. Remember anyone like that? Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. But I don't know where he is now. Well, if he should come back... Wait a minute, I remember. He was in a fight here about a dancer. She works here. Maybe Senior Rodriguez would know. He hired... Thank you. Don't scotch and soda. Don't cut you, sir.
you get it? From Dita. She wanted it High Life. High Life? What does she know about High Life? Nothing. Valdez Benton gave it to her as added or just gave it to her? I don't know. Well, why do you give it to me? Well, you can keep it till we leave. I get nervous carrying a lot of money. Well, I'm not used to carrying a lot either. Well, you're a man. Thanks. Where is she? I don't know. Valdez again? Could be. Where to? I don't know. Why, is it a secret? No, I just wasn't told. It sure is a great idea you had, sicking her onto Valdez and cutting me out. That wasn't quite it. Well, pretty nearly. And with Valdez backing, you two going to New York? Well, it didn't quite work out that way, did it? Looks like maybe you're going to end out in the cold as well. Joe. Yeah? Why don't you go to Oriental Park to the races? What for? I think she might be there. You can say you're sorry at the track just as well as at home. Yeah, not if she's with Valdez, I can't. Boy, every time I see him, I see red. And I don't see what I planned. Well, that's where she is. There's the call for folks, and the horses are leaving the paddock to enter in the track. Just look at number one, calm and assured. Yes, sir. And number two, one of the favorites. Seven years. What, my dear? Oh, I was just thinking. I was thinking that it took seven years for this orchid to come to blossom. And for what? For you. I know, but it seems to me there should be a better reason. It has its moments of beauty. More can anyone ask. Oh, hello, Thomas. Hmm? Oh, hello. Come to see the races? No, I was on my way to New York, but I got lost. Won't you join us? Thanks. Dita. Yes? Gosh, you look beautiful. Thank you. Who do you like in the first, Mr. Thomas? What? Oh, I mean in the first race. Oh, I don't know. Who do you like? I'm on sundown. Oh, I suppose he's going to win, isn't he? Well, it's a she, and I think so. I suppose you got it straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Through an interpreter. Well, I don't like him. Besides, I'm not used to talking to horses. I made the bad mistake once of trying to speak to a jackass. Well, here's my system, senor. Brown dagger. $100 on breaker, number three. Barrier and in the starting gate, just about in there at the gate now. Horse is being let in by the assistant starters. They're just about all set to go. Number, number two is acting up and breaks through for the moment. They're all steady, waiting. Everything is set. They're off. They all broke well. Number three is on top, breaking away in the front there. Number 
number three on top, seven, Rum and four on his heels on the inside, but three is still going strong. Twelve, eleven, and nine are moving up there on the outside, just a bit fast on the outside, all bunched together, however. Now the jockey is pulling three in just a bit, conserving his energy. He's still in the lead, evidently trying for a strong finish. Three is moving in position on the outside, still leading, just ahead of seven and four as they move into the quarter. Eleven is coming up there, too. They're all still bunched, however. Now it's three, seven, four, ten, and eleven. The rest of the field is all bunched as they go down the back stretch there. They're all going down to the far turn, and they're all bunched there, and it's anybody's race. It's three still leading up there, and now it's seven and eleven as they go up with three even, and they're leading as they go into the far turn. It's seven and eleven. Leading the twelve mounts at the turn, we find ten and seven and eleven and four and three still in there, and it's seven and eleven as they come down the stretch, neck and neck, seven and eleven. And there's a horse starting up there on the outside. Let's wait to see what it is. It's seven and eleven still leading, but that horse coming up on the outside and breaking away very fast is three. Three is coming up on the outside. Seven and eleven still in there, and three is coming up and forging into the front by a neck. It's three by a neck, three by a half a length, and three by a length, the winner. Three the winner. Hey, there's nothing like getting it straight from the jockey, is it, senor? Who do you choose in the second? I'm on Flair. Well, is it a he or a she? It's a boy. Well, how nice. I suppose you got it straight from his mouth. Well, let's see who I choose. I've got eerie whatever sex it is. Care to place a bet, senor? You name it. Well, I've just won $700. How about making it even $700 on Erie? I won't even take the odds. Dear, buy yourself a bigger orchid. Save it, honey. I get the idea. You seem restless. Do I? Perhaps you'd rather go. Yes, I think I would. Can't you forget him, Hildita? Oh, he's an idiot. That doesn't answer my question. Right now, I could strangle him. So could I. Senor Valdez? Rodriguez? I must speak to you, senor. Alone. Will you excuse me, Hildita? By all means. Senor, something most unfortunate has happened. Joe Thomas is not Joe Thomas. He's Joe Moore. No, really, Rod. What do I care what his name is? He's the Joe Moore who has jumped one of your ships. The police were in my office half an hour ago. Really? Well, that is interesting. They want to take him away. Oh. As you say, sir. Wait a minute. Tell the police that I'll stand for him. Let him alone for a couple of days. Si, senor. Oh, hello again, Mr. Thomas. And what system do you use for left? Same as the first. With scratch sheet and all. Please, Jose. Be seated, he'll be there. Come on, Mr. Thomas, let's see which one of us will win here. Sure.
Oh. I'll still play it. Fly. 34, red. I'll still play that. Black. Well, that's that. No more? No, no more. Give him back his $10. I'll buy you a bigger orchid. Yeah, and why don't you get yourself a Band-Aid, too? Come in. Hello, Joe. It was a swell show tonight. Uh-huh. Head away, I'm sorry it's over. It was a good two weeks while it lasted. Yeah, I guess it was. Maria. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess this way would be just to say it outright. Say what? Well, you know that money you, you gave me? Yes. I lost it. You what? I lost it. You're kidding. Not every dime this afternoon at the casino. But why? Because he's an idiot. Yeah, I guess I am. You mean even our salaries? That too. Well, that's just ducky. What are we going to do now? I don't know. We haven't even paid our rent. Do you realize what you've done? Here we are in a foreign country. They could deport us. Of all the senseless, stupid... Well, what are we going to do? Hello. I'm sorry, mister. Whatever it is you're selling, I don't want it. I'm not selling anything. I'll pay you back somehow. I came here because... Well, I wanted to say goodbye to you and Dita. I'm sure she'll be very touched. Maybe when we meet in New York, we'll let you take us again. Well, that won't be for a long time. You see... I'm out of the police. I jump ship. Jump ship? But why? You remember that night at the monument? Dita asked me to stay. Well, I stayed. Well, the police don't like that. Oh, I see. That's why you changed your name to Thomas? Mm-hmm. Do they know where you are? Well, if they did, they'd have picked me up long ago. I'll pay your money back somehow. Gosh, I'm sorry about the whole thing. Wait a minute, Joe. I don't know why I should feel sorry for you, but I do. Thanks. Think it over for a day. Might as well get it over with. Go tomorrow, Joe. You can always go to the police. They won't run away. Wait. How... How would you like to take a walk and... With you? I'm not poisoned, really. No. No, I guess you're not. Well, where would you like to go? Let's see. The fiesta. A fiesta? Gosh, I'm in no mood for a fiesta. There are plenty of policemen there. You can give yourself up any time you get bored. Well... Why not? Magnificent, aren't they? Yes. Does it make you feel you want to dance? Yes, they do. I'll be back in a minute. I want to place the bed. You knew where she was all along. Well, I think I'll go buy a balloon. There might be an idea there. Hmm? Oh, hello. Hello? Idea for what? For a dance. Perhaps they might. If we could build a routine, well, I could get you a swell one. Something you could use. Well, it's the only way I know how to pay you back. No. Why? 
It would mean rehearsal. So what? Rehearsals mean you. You don't have to like me. This is business. You want to dance, don't you, more than anything else? That's why you came to Cuba, isn't it? Yes. Well, I'm just a partner. A stick of wood that helps you around. Why do we have to make it personal? That's done with. We could paint against a drop of, of deep black. Well, purple. It's rich. The costumes, they could be colored like the birds. Hey, that's swell. And I could get it up in a week's time. So I've got a grand idea for an opening. Want to buy a balloon? Only 10 cents. You can have it now for five. It's only been blown up once. My best offer is three. You've got yourself a deal. Have you seen Dita? Yes. She went that way. Incorporate some of the steps of the cockfight. With this dancing and the rumba and the samba. Samba? That might be swell. Yeah, no, all you need is an idea for a name. For a name? Yeah, the samba. Rumba, samba, saramba. Saramba? Yeah, how do you like that? Saramba. Saramba. Sure, if found here, the police will pick you up. Well, that's a chance I'll have to take. Hey, you're going to look swell in this routine, Dita. You know something, Joe? You're a pretty swell guy. I'm just your dancing partner. Just a stick of wood. Let's try it again. Dina, I borrowed some money. Would you have dinner with me tonight? Well, I'm sorry, I can't. Now, there's again. I'll call it off. You know, I was such a stupid idiot. I wasn't very bright either. How long can they send you away? Oh, I, I don't know, but I'm sure they won't take me before dinner. Faster, honey. Like this? No, a little faster. Hey, that's swell. Boy, if we click, we open the Mo Martin. That's the swellest nightclub in Havana. Oh, good. Honey, will you wear this for luck? What do you tell me this is before? The opening is tonight. I didn't know you were here until I saw the post. Hey, yo. Yeah? I want to talk to you. Excuse me, Juan. Sit down, Mr. Moore. Oh. Oh, so you know. I was just informed. You have put me in a wonderful spot, Mr. Moore. We open tonight. I got too very expensive to beat the whole show around the number. And where are you? I don't know. Then I tell you. You are in Yale. Gee, I was hoping I could get by for a couple of days. I want a D to have a chance to be seen. That's fine, fine. I have only this number left. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. I'll, I'll think of something. You had better, Mr. Moore, because if you don't, when you get out of jail, I'd probably still you throw. I'll think of something. About that music, Joe. Oh, Marie, I can't wait. What's the matter, Joe? I... Hello. Oh, hello, honey. Uh, would you get us to the orchestra? Sure. Oh, uh, Maria, you know I skipped ship. Oh, it was Valdez's ship. And the police know I'm Thomas. 
Well, I guess the only thing I can do is go to Valdez and ask him to squash the charges. Uh-huh. And he'll say just your way, of course. Especially since you socked him in the job. This is a job for a woman. I hope I've got the equipment. You know, it's odd that I never noticed you before. You were probably looking at my guitar. <laughs> Must be a very beautiful instrument. Senor Valdez. Jose. Jose. This is a chance of a lifetime for your leader. Joyce has got to go on tonight. It's a beautiful routine, and it will take Dita straight to Broadway. Does that mean that you would leave too, or... Could you be persuaded to stay? Well, if somebody tried awfully hard... Jose, you're a gambler. Will you flip a coin? You cry. Head.
been planned before.